Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest free character in WWE Champions for the Mutants Return month-long contest, and it is Damian Priest Broken Infamy. So he is a aggressive showboat, modern era, links the mutant link, any color moves starting MP reduced by three for your opponent. Modern Era gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. Trainer ability at 9k. Immobile gems do 2200 more damage. Um, and mutants have a good history of character models in this game. Um, it, I mean, he looks a lot like the tech version, obviously. He's not like super mutant ballard up. Um, but the little flourishes that they did add to him to make him look like a mutant look very nice. The little muscle strands, the red eyes. Looks, looks pretty cool to me. We'll have to see what the move animations look like because those are usually really well done as well. So, again... He is your free character for the month, which means I'm going to have a two-star moveset along with the three-star, four-star, and five-star, so we know how to run him right out of the gate at two-star bronze. So, that is going to be the finisher with the submission and red one. Finisher, 10 MP, Mutant, Hit the Lights. Deal 147,423 damage. Make 16 reinforced gems into red gems and pin the opponent. Yellow 2 is an arm bar, 8 MP submission. Generate 31 random submission gems and do 71,435 damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into reinforced gems. And red one, the big boot, 8 MP, deal 83,830 damage and choose 7 gems to make into yellow gems. Entourage, we are going to run for this. Big John Stud for 4 more red gems on the finisher, plus we're going to get an extra yellow move point. Uh, Butch for more red MP, Typhoon for 15% more red gem damage, and Santa Hogan just to increase all of our gem damage across the board. For the belt, we are going full Fury. I looked for red gem substats. We have a yellow percent for the finisher, maxed out gem damage metal. Because uh, those we want those reinforces to hit as hard as possible. So as you can see, we've got our red gem damage up to 23k. And our primary is at 24.3. So they're pretty close to each other. believe his monthly boosts are active. Sorry, Mick just walked across the keyboard. Uh, so moves that generate all color gems will create two more all color gems. Gems do 50% more damage. And all color moves start with two more move points. So monthly boosts active for the preview. Um, they also have what they are giving to the newer mutants. And there is a poll on the forum um, if you want to see them added to the old ones as well. Increase kickout damage done by gems by 100%. So that's what he's got going for him. And then standard entourage. Let's see our lovely little substats there. Uh, so we're going to go against Ivar and let's see how this two-star build looks. Ooh, they got a portal for the mutants. Oh, they brought back the mutant ring. Yay, consistency. Yay. All right, so... Nice. We'll take that. So we really only need a three match to get that finisher loaded. Take that here, and then I'm going to cover up 
some of his colors just to scatter these around the board a little bit. That'll load the finisher and then we'll hit the submission. So 31 random gems at 71k damage for four turns. They look to be in nice little pockets next to each other. Hit the finisher, mutant, hit the lights. So 267,000 damage, make 22 reinforce into red. Oh, well the little light flourish is cool. It would be, it would have been dope if he kind of like lifted him up into the air a little bit. Make it a little more mutant-like. Um, but 1.08 mil pin with a free character. So that is... I'm aware that the boosts are in play. Um, but that's solid. That's definitely solid. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, the red eyes. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. Um, okay, so let's take a look at a three-star build. Three-star move is a reversal, 5 MP. So not only does he get 100% permanent kickout uh, boost to his gems, he has a 5 MP reversal. So that's going to help a lot of people um, that maybe don't have a good free-to-play showboat or maybe they have Batista but they don't have a belt. Um, this is... I already like his versatility. Uh, so the reversal 5 MP deal 101,644 damage, kick out of pin, and swap 11 random gems into yellow gems. Gems broken during kick out do not have any effect, cannot kick out when in danger, etc, etc. So belt and entourage the same, except I've brought in Kofi for Butch. Um, so we're getting an extra red... Uh, gem from him, more yellow MP, and then Big John Stud, four red gems, and an extra yellow move point. So, you know I hate showing reversals because I don't like having to wait until I get pinned to show how it works, but for the community, I will wait to get pinned. So, monthly boost with that 2 MP, this is ready to go question is do we use it when that isn't and the answer is no I will wait thank you all right submission Again, we got decent looking five there, three, five, left on match. That looks okay. Hit the lights. Oh, and he's not gonna kick out. Cool. I guess that means we are doing this again and just swiping until we get pinned. So let's run it back. Okay, mm -hmm. everything's loaded. We just need him to do stuff. If we pin him now, he'll pin us with that. So kick out damage plus 100. So 200. 40. I hate that 
QA wise, I hate that this actually covers up the gem damage. Um, but 200, I guess it wouldn't show here either. Oh, kind of. Really small. 240,000 on our yellow gems trying to kick out with this kick out boost. Uh, but we have a reversal. So. And uh, those gems did not do 240,000 damage each. That would have been fun. But if our yellow moves weren't charged, the reversal would have charged them with that cascade. And we got a nice little board stuck thing happening. It's like, you gonna count or what? <laughs> you, you gonna count or what? There we go. So that's how the reversal works if you're in a pinch and you would rather use that. I feel like you don't need the reversal, the submission, and the kickout boost all in one moveset. Because uh, he should be, you know, fine to kick out on his own. But it is an option. So let's shift gears and take a look at a four star build. Four star build brings in both of the black moves. So black one, the diving clothesline, six MP, deal 75,755 damage and choose three columns to make into reinforced gems. Black two, this is the four star move, uh, six MP, mutant south of heaven. Deal 74,023 damage and make 13 reinforced gems into yellow gems. Uh, gonna run this alongside the submission. It does uh, recycle at 5 star. I will show that as well. Entourage for this. Bray for more black MP. Shane McMahon for an extra yellow gem and 40% to those yellow gems. Uh, Santa Hogan for flat 1100. I'm using Hall of Fame Yoko for 25% more reinforced gem damage. If you're one of the people that had Hall of Fame Booker, he would give you two more um, yellow gems at 17k. That would be ideal. If you have Striker Brawn built up, I think Motu Austin also is yellow percent gem damage. Um, you would want to focus on your yellow gem damage as much as possible. So that's who I would use alternatively. And if you don't have any of them, use a gem defense or reduce submission turns. Tailor that last spot to your opponent. So in this case, it would be use um, Masters of the Universe Cena to reduce the red gems. Uh, sticking with Full Fury, I've brought in a black percent because this black two move is going to act as a finisher. If you have um, the baddest jacket plate, you could do something where you use the submission first and then lay all this down because that boosts yellow and black gem damage. That could be nasty. That could be nasty. Uh, so let's see how this does. So a reminder that his monthly boosts are active. So this is turn one and we're getting 16 reinforced instead of 14. Uh, so three columns means 21 gems. We're making 16 of them into yellow. So we want to make sure we're covering up five yellow gems. Just to make sure we get everything. So this patch looks great. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll connect to those. And that. We'll connect to that. And that. And that. We'll get all of them except for that one. So that is ideal. So 24,000 on that, 26,000 on that. Again, he has the 50% monthly boost, but you could absolutely tailor this with substats. Nice. And uh, turn one, Priest goes brrr. 
That was fun. That's going to be super handy even after the monthly boosts wear off. If you didn't get Zombie Lashley, that's like a pseudo mini Lashley right there. Um, will be good for Boss Breaker. Just FYI. I like that. You could build that uh, to be powerful too, even after the month is done. So I'm a fan. Let's take a look at how that build will recycle. Five star move is yellow three, the power bomb, seven MP, deal 83,755 damage and make seven random gems into black gems. So that is going to be how this recycles if you get kicked out of keeping the entourage the same. You could uh, take out Shane and put in NWO Macho. That would give you two more black gems and two more yellow gems. So it would be 15 and nine. Shane gives you one, so you got to subtract it first. Um, so you could do that. You could run Hall of Fame Bree just for extra black gems if you're worried about not hitting. Because you're only putting out seven. And, I mean, with his boost, it's going to be nine. But that's you may want to, you know, you, you may consider running another gem generator just in case you do need to recycle. But let's see um, if we even need to. I was hoping for a yellow match just so I could see what the animation looked like, but... Boo! Oh, boo. Really gonna have to wait the whole thing. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Whatever. It's cool. That's cool, I understand. Of course, now that we don't need it. Guess we'll be showing off the uh, kick out boost at least. And that pops up. 290 with the entourage we have right now. So that's an easy money kick out. Uh, let's see. Power bomb animation. Please be cool. That was a, not cool. Oh, look, we would have recycled. Who would have thunk? Um, okay, three columns. They're gonna be spaced out a bit. But we can at least cover up his row breaks. And we still got him. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like him for a freebie. He's going to be um, really fun and really solid for a lot of people. So I approve. Goldie stamp of approval on Mutant Priest. Uh, plus, I finally have a Damien Priest. Let's go. All right. Let's wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Damien Priest Broken Infamy for the second Mutants event put on by WWE Champions. Let me know your comments. Um, I think he's really solid for a freebie. Um, people that are have relatively new accounts and are like, my show books are kind of booty. Um, Damien Priest is not booty. He is going to be very good for you. And he's got a sub, he's got a kickout, he's got that permanent kickout boost, 
He's got reinforced gems. Um, he's going to be a good shield breaker. He's going to be good for yellow stipulation tours. Um, so I am a fan. Uh, let me know if you are a fan in the comments of this video. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Shout out to Merricks. Thank you again for watching and thank you for being a friend. Put it on the, 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 put it on the